There's one mentality that when a woman has this, makes men fight for her relentlessly. They will start to prove their worth, their love, their feelings. They will open up quicker than a cookie jar in the hands of a six-year-old. It will be amazing. The biggest benefit, however, is that she herself will feel a lot more confident and secure while she's dating someone or has a relationship with someone. Because instead of trying to prove her worth to him, she becomes the prize. Yet, it takes some practice to get good at this one thing, so let's talk about it. If you don't know me yet, I'm an author. I write books about relationships, emotions, and more. My name is Geert. I also use the easier-to-remember pen name Brian Knox. And first, before looking at what he really craves, at what activates a man's desire, let's look at the opposite that scares men away. In short, meeting a guy and thinking he must be the one after only one date or even five, being afraid of losing him, fighting for his attention, giving it everything you have even though he hasn't put in a comparable amount of effort, trying to play games so he would be afraid of losing you or so he would like you more, overanalyzing his behavior, making him a priority before he earned it. All those things obviously make him lose attraction and potentially even respect, and the women who do these things will lose their own self-respect. Now, if you have ever watched even a single episode of The Bachelorette or a similar TV show where a bunch of men fight for the hand of one woman, you may already have wondered, uh, are they really all falling for her? Why are they doing these foolish tasks or challenges to get a rose from her so they can stay for another week? Why are they desperately hoping they will be able to have three minutes of alone time with her? Just to talk about their feelings of all things, about how special she is, how pretty she looks. What? Why doesn't that happen in my life? Where are the droves of men fighting over each other for my heart? I honestly don't know, but what I do know is that these shows use a special concept that awakens something in these guys, that makes them do whatever they can just to spend some time with her. If they are not there to get famous, like some guys are, then they may feel an enormous amount of attraction and desire for her, even if, had they met her in a coffee shop or elsewhere, they may not even have noticed her. So it's not just about her looks. Can you see what it is? It's a combination of challenge and abundance. The Bachelorette represents a huge challenge to the men. Even just talking to her one-on-one -on -one or going on a date with her is super hard. There are a lot of other men fighting for her attention, but her mindset is what awakens their desire the most, and that's something that you can use in your own regular love life as well. And that's abundance. The abundance mindset is a big part of what makes her so attractive because every man knows she has a lot of options. She's not afraid to lose him because there's another guy and sometimes 10 or 20 of them waiting around the corner. Often literally. The men realize it, but she knows it too, and it changes her behavior. She knows she is the prize here. She has options. If she doesn't feel it, the man doesn't get another date with her. If she thinks a man is not genuine or maybe playing games with her, Bye bye pack your bags and leave. Again, literally. But this is the part that works in real life as well. Some women make the mistake, after meeting a great guy, of thinking he's the only great guy. And they start to treat him as such. They perhaps get a little bit insecure. They may try to do everything right. They may be on edge and not themselves. They may overthink everything. They hope he's going to text soon or call them soon. They've just arrived home after a good date and they can't wait. They just have to text him something right now. Of course, because every hour that passes makes the connection weaker, right? Wrong. It makes the abundance mindset weaker. It makes them weaker. Plus, he doesn't get a chance to miss her then. Whenever a man feels a woman is afraid of losing him, there will, by definition, not be any form of challenge. So that will destroy the initial attraction. But the bigger issue is, he's not going to meet the real her. She won't be able to enjoy their dates. She won't open up. She won't show her boundaries. She may try to please him all the time to adapt to his possible wishes. She may overcompensate. She may be putting in all the work or play hard to get or play other games so he would like her more, which will obviously push him away, but it will most importantly feel awful to her as well. As if she's running around in a hamster wheel without ever arriving somewhere. It is hard to arrive in a great relationship that way. But when she activates her abundance mindset, everything can change. Now first, this is hard. I talk about the mind games that you will get during dating or in a relationship in plenty of my other videos, but one of the biggest mind games when really falling for someone is tunnel vision. It will truly feel like as if this person, the object of your affection, may be your last chance of ever finding real love and living the happily ever after. And I talk about that mind game in detail in my other videos, but in short, 
realize that it is just a mind game. It's not true and switch from a scarcity to an abundance mindset. Think about all the men that were ever romantically interested in you. There are plenty more where they came from. And if your mind doesn't want to believe this, at the very least, open up your tunnel vision and enlarge it by asking yourself, okay, but if five other great men would be interested in me right now, how would I deal with whatever's going on right now? Well, maybe you would enjoy it more. Maybe you would worry less about the little things. Maybe you would have some fun during those dates or in that relationship. Maybe you would tell him about your boundaries and tell him what you like and what you really don't like. You would still put in an effort, but you would probably leave him plenty of room to put in efforts as well. So there's a balance, right? If you think there are plenty of men that you can have a great romantic relationship with, you would give him a ton of space. There's no rush then. And that's good for your own stress levels, but it also creates an opportunity for him to miss you. To figure out that he is missing you, that you are really important to him. He needs space to do that. But if your mind is in a scarcity mindset instead, it will make everything about him. When is he going to text me again? Ah, what, what, what does he mean by that? I want to see him again. Soon, really soon. I feel lonely. I know he's sitting right next to me, but he's watching television instead of me. <laughs> Hello? Relationships like these are obviously not fun. Even if you found a great guy, the only great guy, the abundance mindset, however, is much more relaxed. And don't worry, this doesn't mean that you won't care. Quite the contrary, you will just worry less. And you know what? His desire can then grow so much more. So although making him super attracted to you cannot be the goal because that would be the scarcity mindset, it is one of the consequences of the abundance mentality. He will feel that he has to put his best foot forward because you have options. Whenever we get over attached to something in life, we're actually choking it. We're pushing it away. Have you ever noticed that? And not just in romantic relationships, by the way. When we care too much about a certain outcome, when we are afraid that we're not going to get there, we make reaching it so much harder. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy then. So if you want your guy or men in general to put in an effort when you're dating them or have a relationship with one, if you want their desire to grow, make sure to switch to the abundance mindset, especially in the beginning when he hasn't earned the right yet for you to be afraid of losing him. And there you go. I hope you found value in this video. As always, there's more on brianlux.com that I do not post over here or in my books on Amazon. Just type Brian Knox in the search box. I will put links in the description underneath this video as well. And I want to thank you for still being here at the very end of this video. I love it when you do that. And I hope to see you in another video.